So this is the second problem on stresses in bars of varying cross section. Determine the stress in each section of the bar shown in the following figure when subjected to an axial tensile load of 20 kN. The central section is of square cross section. The other portions are circular sections. What will be the total extension of the bar? For the bar material, Hink's modulus is 210 into 10 raise to 3 Newton per millimeter square or MPA. Both are same. See here, in this problem, so this section is circular and this will be a square section and again this section will be a circular. Clear? So in this problem, it is required to calculate stresses in each section which means sigma 1, sigma 2 and sigma 3 as well as total extension. So total extension it is denoted by delta L. It is required to find these answers. First let me calculate stresses in each section. Then I will go for total extension. First consider section 1. For section 1. So length equals 250 millimeters and diameter D1 which is equal to 20 millimeter and A1 so it will be pi into 20 square divided by 4. So A1 you will get 314.15 millimeter square. Okay. And you know the value of P. It is 20 kilonewton. So it will be 20 into 10 raise to 3 newton. Next, Young's modulus. So here it is 210000 MPA. So which is equivalent to 210 into 10 raise to 3 Newton per millimeter square. So this load and Young's modulus, it is same for all the sections. Okay. Next, consider section 2. For section 2, length 100 millimeter. As it is square section, so area will be 30 into 30. So it will be 900 millimeter square. Next, section 3. For section 3, L3 equals 400 millimeter. Whereas diameter D3, so it will be 15 millimeter. And A3, so it will be pi into 15 square divided by 4. So A3 you will get 176.71 millimeter square. 
so once you know the value of area as well as load you can calculate the stresses so sigma 1 equals p divided by a1 so sigma 2 equals p divided by a2 so sigma 3 equals p divided by a3 so here p is 20 into 10 raise to 3 newton divided by a1 314.15 millimeter square next for section 2 p is 20 into 10 raise to 3 newton divided by area 900 millimeter square for section 3 20 into 10 raise to 3 newton divided by area 176.71 millimeter square so let me simplify these so I will use the calculator so first it is 20 into 10 raise to 3 divided by 314.15 so which is equal to 63.66 so sigma 1 63.66 newton per millimeter square so this is stress in section 1 next 20 into 10 power 3 divided by area 900 so it is 22.22 so 22.22 newton per millimeter square so this is sigma 2 stress in section 2 so 20 into 10 raise to 3 divided by so 176.71 so which is equal to 113.17 so this is sigma 3 so newton per millimeter square so this is stress in section 3 so next let me calculate the total elongation to calculate the total elongation we know the formula by the principle of superposition so delta l equals delta l1 plus delta l2 plus delta l3 so delta l equals p l1 divided by a1 e plus p l2 divided by a2 e so plus p l3 divided by a3 e so delta l equals in all the three terms so p divided by e it is constant so i will write the remaining terms so l1 divided by a1 plus l2 divided by a2 plus l3 divided by a3 so let me substitute the values so p value 20 into 
10 raised to 3 divided by so Young's modulus 210 into 10 raised to 3 next so L1 250 divided by A1 314.15 plus L2 100 divided by A2 900 plus L3 400 divided by A3 176.71 So let me simplify this term by using the calculator So I will remove this part So first it is 20 into 10 power 3 divided by 210 into 10 power 3 so 250 divided by 314.15 plus 100 divided by 900 plus 400 divided by 176.71 so final answer so you will get delta L equals 0 0.3 301 millimeters so this is the total elongation or extension total extension of bar so stresses in sections so sigma 1 equals 63.66 sigma 2 equals 22.22 sigma 3 equals 113.17 so these are in newton per millimeter square so so this is your stresses stresses in each section